Okay, let's understand mobile originated call that is MOC, which also uh, you know a part of uh, call routing in JSON. So you see here, user one is here and user two is here. Okay, so user one is generating one call. It is intercepted by BSS, which consists of base transceiver system that is BTS, BSC, and TRAU, which we had done already in the first session of JSON. Please go through those videos. Okay, so this is the first. So call is intercepted by BSS. It will forward that call to MSC, which is marked by two. Now MSC has to decide that the user is at the home location or at the uh, you know foreign location. If he is in the very very uh, you know home location then it will just forward so let's say user 2 is here let me let me just user 2 is here then it will directly forward this call to user 2 and user 1 and user 2 are you know communicating but now let's say user 2 is not at the home location he is at the visitor uh, visitor location or the foreign location then he will call the vlr visiting location register to give me the updated location and vlr now will give you the updated location updated location in the fourth response and then MSC will forward this call to GMSC okay GMSC is the gateway mobile switching center which is the gateway okay now GMSC will forward it to the PSTN where user 2 is residing okay this is the foreign location this is the foreign location where the user 2 is residing okay that's why we, VLR had give you the updated location and then it will forward to GMSC GMSC will forward it to the different network where user 2 is residing so this is public switch telephone network okay so this is the sixth response now user 2 will respond to the user 1 in this format so PSTN to GMSC with the help of 7 then GMSC will directly give you the response to the MSC that yes 8 then it will directly respond to the BSS 9th and it will directly respond to the 10th to the user 1 now user 1 and user 2 are connecting in this way okay so this is mobile originated call if the user is at the home location then msc will directly you know forwarded this call to the user 2 if he, if he is at the foreign location then he need to call vlr to give me the updated location then it will forward it to the gmsc which is the gateway of this network this network and then it will forward it to the pstn which is the other network where user 2 is residing okay and then they can call or they can they can communicate this is mobile originated call moc now uh, let's say mobile terminating call now it's terminating it means how exactly you know you're terminating the call or how disconnecting you you're, how disconnecting the call so this is a topic of mtc which is mobile terminating call mobile terminating call this is mtc now what happened in mtc this is also kind of you know the same thing so now a calling station here user 2 user 2 is at the different location so user 2 will forward this connection to with the help of first to his network so this network is PSTN that is public switch telephone network just like your BSNL phone landline phone okay so this is landline phone user 2 is calling PSTN user 2 wants to connect now user 2 wants to connect with user 1 okay keep that in mind now PSTN will forward this connection okay now this is a complete different network as i told you user 2 is at the very different location network 2 now it will forward it to uh, network 1 so this is my network 1 which is gsm okay so so the call is forwarded to and it it is intercepted by gmsc which is gateway mobile switching center this is the first you know this is the first entity which has exists in the gsm between two networks so you understand gsm convert gsm connects two networks so that, that's why we have network one and network two which is connected by gmsc now gmsc will forward this call to the msc i'll give you the numbers here so one so pstn to gmsc it is going to be two and uh, uh, actually GSM GMSC it will not directly you know forward this call to the MSC because now GMSC has to decide that where exactly the user one is okay so there are two decisions that he need to find so the first decision it is going to be in the form of HLR so if he if the user 2 is at the HLR then it will it will ask this MSC is going to ask HLR that the user is at the home location or not so it is going to be with the help of three now hlr will respond that either is at the you know home location or not but it also has to decide that is that it will forward this i'm sorry 
Yeah, give me five minutes. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. No problem. I'm so sorry for the interruption. Okay. So now he has to make uh, two decision here, either HLR or either VLR. Okay. So three or maybe this. This is. I'll give you the number. This is going to be four. So if he is at the HLR, then it will you know give you the response. Uh, let me let me not draw this VLR here. Let me draw from the HLR because as HLR and VLR are connected with each other, so HLR is going to be like this and VLR is going to be like this. Okay, so this is HLR will ask the for, uh, VLR that the user uh, one is at the foreign location or not, and I represent that thing with the help of four. And now VLR will respond that yeah yes or no in the form of FIP that the user one is at the foreign location or not. So is it is in the form of yes and no. Then HLR will respond to GMSC is is that the user one is at the home location or at the foreign location in the form of six. So again it is yes and no. Okay. Now GS, GMSC will forward this call to the MSC with the help of seventh number, and it will give you the and GMSC will uh, you know uh, it will it will tell MSC that the user one is at the HLR or or at the VLR. Okay. Now MSC will you know with the help of uh, located updated information location updated information with the help of this GMSC it will forward that call to either HLR or the VLR so MSC to MSC to BSC BSC and BSC and you know that BSC is having uh, the BTS so this is BTS this is BTS and every BTS is having one mobile device. Okay, so all mobile station, let me put it into the mobile station one and this is your user one. I actually don't have to draw this, this things, but this, let's say this user one is here, his mobile station is this. So now MSC will forward this connection to this BSCs. Okay, uh, with the help of this HLR and VLR uh, location updated information it is in the form of 8 and now it will find these BS, these BSCs that where exactly this user 1 is you know there so it will forward or it will not forward it will broadcast this 8 broadcast to BSC then this BSC and this BSC and then this BSC is again going to be forwarded uh, with the help of 9 9 and 9 to their uh, BTS and BTS to you know again it will forward uh, or broadcast to the mobile stations and the mobile station who is there it will respond in the form of 11 then this is going to be 12 and this is going to be like 13 and this is going to be like 14 and this is 15 in that way it goes to the user one I hope you understand it okay this is a little bit complex but um, so I'll explain you again one more time so user 2 wants to communicate with the user 1 so it is in the other network so the first thing comes up is the PSTN that is public switch telephone network. He is communicating with the BSNL phone. It, it gets to the GMSC intercepted by with the help of two number. Then GMSC has to decide that the user one is at the HLR or VLR. So it will ask the HLR that where exactly this user one. HLR will ask the VLR that he is at the foreign location or, or somewhere else. So VLR will update uh, the location of the user one that he is at the foreign location or home location to the HLR. HLR will forward this uh, information to the GMSC and GMSC will forward uh, the updated location of the user 1 to the MSC. MSC will forward it to the all BSCs. BSC is, ha is having BTS and BTS is having MS. Right. Mobile station will, you know, user 1 is, so user 2 is saying hello, then user 1 will respond with the help of uh, this hello in the form of 11th number, then 12th then it goes to the 13th and 14th and 15th and then it is it, it is going to be 16th here and the hello is going to be listened by this user 2 in that way you know user 2 and user 1 is communicating i hope you understand it if you have any doubt you can easily you know comment in the comment section i'll be ready to help you thank you so much for listening to me if you if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you to please subscribe thank you so much